What's up everybody, it's John with People's Republic MTG, and we got a ranked Throne of Eldraine draft again today. Uh, format still feels really new and fresh, and I'm enjoying the heck out of it, so let's see what archetype we end up in today. Haha, <laughs> murder boy. Well, tough to say no to that. Um, Shine Chase is a cool part of the white blue artifacts enchantment deck, though I don't know how much of a thing that really is. It's just not on the power level of some of the other um, archetypes. Uh, Arden Veil Tactician is great, but there's not really a whole lot to discuss. Cool to see a Lucky Clover here. Um, I mean, if we end up in, like, black-green kind of adventures or something, we wouldn't mind a clover, but... Onward with the murder boy. Okay, so... Two of the, uh... Quad hybrid cards here. Um... We have no black cards in the pack. Um... I think probably the most powerful card in the pack is Lock Dragon. Um, but you can't really play that in a deck with Murderous Rider. The Headhunter, on the other hand, we almost certainly could. Um, though if we don't end up in Black Red... we Basically, if we end up in Black or Black Red. Mono Black. Um... Oh, there is a black card. There's Forever Young. Um, Searing Barrage is also just like a clean red card to take. Garen Brig Paladin's pretty good. I'm not really ready to take a Shield Breaker, I don't think. Uh, okay, I'm gonna kind of speculate there with that Headhunter. Oh, uh, well, there's an Edgewall Innkeeper. Um, I might just take that here. And try to go black green uh, adventures. The rest of this pack is really pretty bad. Hingewalker's fine. Queen of Ice is pretty good, I guess. Flutterfox is fine. Let's take the Innkeeper. Starting to get more into the um, into the filler type cards, but Out Muscle's pretty good. Um, so we start to pick up uh, some more black green stuff. Lost Legion's pretty fine too. Uh, let's pick up that out muscle there. I guess we can take the Twin Vel tree, tree Folk here. Pretty bad pack otherwise. Just run away together. But. Uh, Smitten Swordmaster seems fine here. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's an argument for Egg. I don't think we're getting there with the Elite Headhunter. Um, let's just take the Swordmaster. Take a Spore Cap Spider, I guess. Flutterfox is the best card in the pack, but it's okay. Uh, I think I might take the Forever Young over the Lash of Thorns here. Hmm, Merrily's right. Maybe we'll end up with some food stuff. Another Merrily. Um, I don't think we'll play Tulls of Beanstalk. Eh, get a Lash of Thorns anyway. Eh, cabin. Sideboard card there. There's a Circle of Loyalty, but that's not what we're doing. There is a Revenge of Ravens, though. I like the idea of that. Okay, my adversary wouldn't be bad. Maybe we'll wield the Acolyte. Yeah, let's slam the revenge. Um. Hmm. There's like two fine options here. I don't think we're going to be heavy enough black that that's going to be particularly reliable, but like either Curious Pair or Beanstalk Giant is good for us. I think maybe we want Curious Pair though. We're just not ramping to anything. Okay, I would love to have Sir Conrad, but we need the epic downfall more. Hmm. 
I'll take the Garenbrig Carver here, I think. It's improbable alliance. Yeah, I'll take the Carver. I guess I could have taken the egg. Ooh, we get another innkeeper. Nice. Um, what kind of non-human count do we have? He's a human. 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 Elf. Zombie. Spider. Hu yeah, we got too much human stuff to really do the Roslyn Halberd, I think. Just leaves us with in insatiable appetite. Huh, get another out muscle. It's pretty good. There's that acolyte. Or no, that wasn't the original one. Squire will be fine here, I think. I don't think we're gonna play another Forever Young. Guess I could take a Jousting Dummy. I don't think we're gonna be heavy enough green, but it's possible. Wow. Festive Funeral and a Golden Egg. Let's take the Egg a Leg. Two sideboard cards. The Charming Prince. Ooh, we got an Order of Midnight. Yeah. So neither of our next two rares ended up being all that great, but we do get some great uncommons for um, our first picks in each of these packs. <laughs> Third Innkeeper? Versus a Deathless Knight. We don't have a lot of food stuff. I'll take the Innkeeper. Going deep. Reef Soul, yeah. Okay, here I'll take the Beanstalk. Nah, this pack doesn't have anything for us. Just take Big Fella. That cat clearly does not make that noise. Bam, Savvy Hunter. Woof. Again, we're not really doing the food thing, but it's just a great card. We've got a, a handful of knights. Might end up playing the witches. Okay, um, so we have two Marrow Leafs. Um, so we don't want that. Get the Tulls of Beanstalk out of here. Get the Fell the Pheasant out of here. So we don't have a festive funeral yet. I don't know how much we need it with double out muscle, a reeve soul, and a um, and an epic downfall. I'm gonna take the spider. Uh, carver. Yeah, with a third innkeeper, I'll take that carver. Take the skewer. I don't think we'll play it. I'll take the appetite. We might play one of those. Um, whatever. Uh, that's not gonna make the deck, I don't think. Okay. Let's um switch the view real quick. Starting to realize this is a little bit better for um the actual building portion to look at it like this. Um, I don't think we're gonna want both Marrow Leafs, uh, Jousting Dummy we don't need. We don't need both Insatiable Appetites. I don't think we want the, uh, Rose Thorn Halberd. I don't think we need Hinchwalker. Probably not Prophet of the Peak. Um, equip three. Nah. Just real heavy at two. But I think pretty much everything with adventure needs to be there. Squire is an okay adventure synergy card. 
there's potential that Merrillyf could could go. There's potential that Forever Young could go as well, though it might be good if we anticipate finding um seeing uh the um mill deck. I'm gonna cut another insatiable appetite uh and run Lash of Thorns as our one combat trick. How many hits does witches have? One, two, three, four, four hits. I don't know that Murderous Rider is necessarily that important that we need to run the witches. Still two cuts. Um, yeah, I think we want that beanstalk giant. I might just cut the egg. I know a lot of people really like that card. Especially the guys on, um, Lords of Limited. They have me convinced, but I... I don't know, I just don't think it's doing a whole lot here. What is our, um... Hop back to this one. What is our creature count right now? 17-7. So we need to cut a non-creature spell. Um... I do think that we're going to grind a fair amount, so I kind of like the, um, the Forever Young. I, I don't think we're going to be playing that cabin, but I'll come back to that. So I guess it kind of comes down to, do I really want the Lash of Thorns? Or do I really want the Forever Young? Or do you just cut the Idiot Sauce Merrily Frighter? And yes, that's a real word, Idiot Sauce. It's all one word, Idiot Sauce. food there so I'm thinking about like how do we trigger merrily Rider? what do we sacrifice to it like that makes a food she can make food that's it alright Rider's out Lowers my two drop count, which kind of stinks, but I forgot I got that one. Where did that come from? Anyway, I'll just go with my standard ones. Murder Boy gets the uh, deck box art here, I guess. We're a good bit heavier on green, but I like 9-8. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give the digital deck box to Murder Boy. Alright, let's give this a try. I think it's pretty good. Um, triple edge wall seems kind of nice. The one color that I haven't played with much is black to this point. I guess I had black red on my last video, but I haven't drafted black yet in the paper. It's just kind of crazy to me. Looks okay. 
It's not great. It's per it's not particularly aggressive. Um. But it will give me a little velocity. As well as set up decent defense here. Don't be seeker keeper. That's all tides. get the food token. We got the time. Um, I don't think that's worth the point of damage. I mean, is there a flash spell? Flash creature that I'm afraid of, though? What do they have here? I guess I could have to counter spell. What? Are, flash creature, flash creature. There's the mythic. Okay. Just managed to talk myself out of a point of damage in my head. <laughs> we cannot get through that. <laughs> oh, we're doing a whole lot of nothing over here. I guess I could attack with both of those. I mean, if one of these eats a combat trick, it's fine. Okay, Order of Midnight's fine. Let's see if they got the counter spell. Okay. It's too bad. can attack with all the stuff that safely attacks here. Alright, so do we want to, um... put all these back on top? Yeah, I think so. I think we get to order them next. Um, okay, so top this. Next turn doesn't really matter. 
Maybe Twin Veil. Yeah, I like that. How much is this to equip? Three. Got, um, run away together here? Yeah. Sure. Witching well. See if they keep up counter magic. They sure did. Going ahead into combat here. Now we can return the Twin Veil. Here are their secret keepers. Combat damage, okay. So we're gonna be able to safely outmuscle um, depending on what we play here. Lead on the Order of Midnight. Let's out muscle here to here. Sure, I don't know. Okay. Starting to think that like drawing all of those cards off um, the innkeepers might actually do them a favor if they're trying to mill us, but doesn't end up mattering too much. Right onwards. Didn't say please is uh, particularly. It's just like you already hate getting your spell cancel encountered by a cancel, but it's just really 
digging it in deep. I'll keep that. We might just cast Smitten Swordmaster on two. We don't have that many knights that we're going to get a huge payoff. Depends on what what we see here. Yeah, if they want to start um, some kind of a race or something like that, then Swordmaster will swing that in our favor. Crashing drawbridge. Yeah, it looks like another mono blue deck. Hello there, pupper. Golden Egg. Oh, we're gonna get a free attack with the Savvy Hunter. Um, make some food. That's not bad. I noticed he suddenly became awake with the update before he had always been snoozing. I don't know what that is, but... So tiny, the sword master. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just the hunter, I guess, here. Yeah, I think I will go ahead. Let's sack the two foods. Try to pick up some gas here. Okay, not bad. 
Um, do I want to use the carver next turn? Or do I want to just cast it here? I think I just want to cast it. Draw ourselves a card. There is a second color here. Getting rid of the witching well. can attack here, here, here. cling to that ginger brood. Yeah, okay. Red cap. Yep. That's not too bad. Um, I guess... Is there... Should we go ahead and epic downfall of a red cap? I don't think so. Um, am I okay trading the Garenbrig Carver with the red cap? Probably. down follow it next turn okay 
le cas. Not, not the best of choices. Attack to deal one to yourself. Let's go ahead and activate here. Sell this food in the town square. Let's put some counters on the savvy hunter, I think. Okay, um, I think we still want to attack with the Savvy Hunter, uh, even if they go to double block, like, it's fine, um, we would just eat that if we were to attack with it, um, I guess the Spider can also attack, um, I don't think it's going to matter a ton. Like, if they want to double block the spider to take it down and take five, that is also permissible. Jump with ginger brute. Okay. I think this turn will just cast the Twin Veil Tree Folk. Okay. Yeah, pass it back. Interested to see if they're gonna have. Okay, they got another creature. Um, I don't think that's gonna matter a whole lot. I can murderous rider this red cap. I think we got him. 
Uh, let's just take a quick look here. We swift end here. trying to think if we want to um, draw some cards uh, with one of these two. Before we attack. another land. Attack here, here, here. Here. Let's just cast Order of Midnight. Yeah, I don't I don't think they've got a way to uh, to really live. I think they hurt on lands for a good chunk of the game. Really, the whole game. I wonder if they got a bunch of double red stuff stuck in hand or what. There you go. I, I am not sure quite what was going on with the opponent's deck there, but... Um, we will take it. Continue our march. But I'm don't think I ever actually counted what um, exactly what uh, adventure creatures how many we had. I guess I'll keep this. That's not the best hand I've seen. Okay. Let's 
Silver Flame Square. Combat trick here. Ooh, wee. Uh, yeah. Sure. Um, I think we're okay on lands right now. We do want a second plaque for Murderous Rider. I've seen all of the colors. Blue, purple, red. Okay. Um. Swamp. Let's see if they got another combat trick here. Okay. Um. A little beanstalk here. And pass back. Yeah. I'm probably swift in that. Yeah, we can out-muscle and murderous rider here. downfall for that. Um, we do have the giant. Bunch of big cats. Play the edge wall and sit tight because we've just got the um, savvy hunter in there. Oof! It's a lot of bears. Mother. Okay, they're gonna get to draw a card here. I mean, I guess I could chump with the spore cap. Mm, yeah. Ooh, 
What do I want to out muscle? Probably the keeper. So I could attack with the Beanstalk Giant, but then it's not back to block. Yeah, I don't think we really want to do that. Um, you know, I'll take both. I have two open. The spider on top, I guess. They probably just take the eight. Deploy Spore Cap and Savvy Hunter. Downfall. I mean, we probably downfall the Twin Veil Tree Folk. gonna have to go wider than them I guess. Thing is they're already really wide, those bears. Find another innkeeper. They can start throwing bears my way. Um, hmm. Okay, I guess we take a hit of five here. I'll keep that food around. Just make the giant bigger. Huh. 
<laughs> okay. Um we'll just play that. That was a little premature. But all right. The rapacious one. Well, not rapacious one. Rapacious dragon. Innkeeper and, um, that, you know, the standard Golgari Adventures deck, that has seemed very, very strong. I just, like, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't played that deck myself. Um, I've been playing mostly, like, Gruel Aggro in Standard. Um, kind of comes down to, like, what has a legitimate chance against, uh, against uh, Simic Food and Bant Ramp. Uh, deck seems to just generate so much value so quickly. This is an interminable wait. I wonder if I should just back out and try again. Oh, there we go. Looks fun. Turn one beloved princess. All right. Edge of all. take three more if we play another innkeeper here or we can just play the curious pair and blank both of those I think that's what we do a second edge wall and then play a smitten swordmaster that revenge is going to be good here I think
the DC combat trick, that's fine. Swamp, and let's just play the Acolyte here, I think. Just hold up the Carver. Casket. Going for the acolyte. Sure. Okay. Let's play a forest. Let's. Go ahead and get this little cap out there. Uh oh. I guess they just want to sack it with the oven. Okay then. All right, gain some life. Uh, so we got some options here. Um, I think we can just take the. Uh, the innkeeper off their board. Yeah. Sure. Quite sure where that deck was going. <laughs> but that is just fine. Alright. 4 0. will say that the Field of the Dead ban feels very good. I'm very glad to be out from under that cloud, but I know the talk continues to be the ban of Oko. Um, 
though, interestingly, I was listening to the newest Good Luck High Five, and Megan seemed to think that Nissa needs to go instead of Oko. She's complaining about turn three Nissas. Which I guess takes Arboreal Grazer into Paradise Druid. Um, and having all four lands that you need for that. Um, I may have seen that happen in the past, and yeah, that would seem really problematic, but that's more about just the acceleration into a 5-drop, I think. I think you can find other, like, really strong 5-drops. I won't even, like, necessarily say busted 5-drops. Um, I think Oko, he's just... Every game that I've played involving... Oko, against Oko, <laughs> I have not had the pleasure of playing with yet, um, he just skyrockets on loyalty so quickly, it's like, there's no interaction whatsoever, um, or there's so little, um, man, these matches are taking forever to line up. Seems okay. around too much. I'm not sure if there are other interactables on this board. Doesn't look like it. something on two. I'll just play the spider, I guess. Um. Wow, it's a, an aggressive so tiny. I think we'll just run out our revenge here. The spider reads a combat trick here, that's... Oh, man. Dang it. just play another spider. Probably could have attacked with the innkeeper, but I don't see a huge reason to do so. Nice Griffin. Well, we can thankfully reeve soul that.
Um, I'll take a turn off. To go get another land. It's not really a turn off, either. Keep up the Garenberg Carver. Um, or, what is his? Shields Might. Let's get a focus. Um, no attacks. Got it. Um, so I can just go ahead and out muscle here to here. I guess, I guess I will. Um, Let's just keep up Garen Brick Carver. Could attack with the spider. Nah. Cast and draw a card. So, um, they have on alert up. But, okay, let's go ahead and play the forest. And that's, um, plus two, plus two. So I think we can put counters here.
Let's attack with the Beanstalk Giant. Yeah, we were rolling in value. Oh, cool. Five in a row. Look who's back. Yeah, for a while in my mind it was kind of a toss-up of like whether Garrick or Oko is more powerful. <laughs> and honestly, I think that's still a valid point in Limited. Just because you're going to get to that six mana mark to cast Garrick of most of your games. Like 80%, 85%. And completely unanswerable. Um, Oko in Limited, I mean, he's still incredibly good um, and probably wins, you know, I don't know what figure I'd put it at. If he, if he comes down early, he probably wins like 80% of those games, but um, I don't know. That's kind of tough. The thing is that, like, Oko in the Bant Ramp shells and in the Simic Food shells, like, the amount of synergy you're able to put in the deck between the Goose and Wicked Wolf. And also, like, I guess just the card quality in Green Blue with Hydroid Crisis, Paradise Druid, and, um,. It's a fellow Domri avatar. I think it's the first one I've ever seen. Oh man, hands just perfect. But yeah, the card quality in green, blue, and standard is like kind of what makes Oko jump out to me as the more powerful one. Or it's what it's why he's played out to be the more powerful one, I think. I haven't seen a ton of decks playing Garrick. Oh, I think like an Abzan Wolves deck with Tulsimir, possibly even Arlen for more of the spark. You get Wicked Wolf, you get Night Pack Ambusher. Um, a lot of good options. Good against the pack. Uh, I'm just gonna play this out of here. 
plus two plus one. Play the sword master. Pass that turn. Here he comes. Chipping in in the air. Play the acolyte. here. Keep on attacking with the Order of Midnight. Do I need to outmuscle anything here? I don't really think so. over there. Okay. Oh, 
I am compelled. Kind of tempted to out muscle here to here now. So now the beast can't block. Oh, I didn't play the spore cap spider. Jeez, stupid. Got stuck on three lands there. Randomly getting booted off. Hopefully we didn't miss much. Didn't do anything. Sure. I'll just play this full cast fiber. They ran a really low land count, or this is just insane variance. They cannot have whiffed on lands again. That's... What is going on?
I think we want to keep the carver up as a trick. They must have run some absurdly low lane count. That's all I can imagine. Well, now we get to kill him. Wow. I... That's really rough for the opponent to... stick on three lands for that many turns. I do not know what occurred there. Well, six wins without a loss. Um, uh, I guess this one ended up alright. Though we have played some weird looking decks. And apparently Arena is just all over the place today. Okay. Let's say we go to the home page real quick. There we go. Some weird things going on here. People playing beloved princesses and suicide attacking. Only to shove their fairy guide mothers into ovens. <laughs> Society has failed these people. And yet another long matchup play. Hmm. I wonder if maybe the new update is causing some of this. The disconnect, that was on my shoddy Wi-Fi card. This looks okay. It's missing the innkeeper. Honestly, I'll run out one of these Garen Brig Carvers. I think I'll just play the card room.
there. Mm -hmm. I'll just play this first. Looks like they may be holding up didn't say please here. Secret keeper. Mm, not didn't say please anymore. We'll put counters on the kappa. Go on into combat. Huh, why did it attack me that way? I guess it's fine. Eating the food. Running away together. Yeah. Yeah, it was not the best attack now that I think about it. You know, attack me back with a sword master, gain a life back. Gadwick. X equals five. Wolf. Going a little sideways. I think we'll just play the giant here. In case we need to use one of the adventure spells, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, now that I think about it, the Acolyte should not be attacking. They got what they need. Kill Gadwick? Is this a May? No. I think we're gonna lose this one. I think they got another runaway together. And, uh -huh. cards in library. <laughs> we can't cast any of our creatures because they're just gonna draw cards. I d I don't think we can we can beat through. Got us. there. Maximum value of several pieces. Alright, we got a couple more chances. <clears throat>
Brimstone Trebucket. Um, let's play Revenge, I think. Feels like it is just my connection. Or is it? I think I'll just play the squire here. armor plus zero plus two. So I will play the innkeeper. And I think I need to reef soul a trebucket. Gotta take three here. Okay. 
Okay. That's not bad. Um, let's make a food. And let's cast Curious Bear. Probably have a trick here. That's what I'd imagine. That food. Okay. I could out muscle the two one. I'll just play the Garen Green Carver. Savvy Hunter could keep me in this. Another combat trick, so be it. Okay. Um, I think here, let's play Smitten Swordmaster first. So I can outmuscle um, the Swordmaster to the Trebuchet. I think I'll wait on that for a turn. So they can activate Embereth if I block with the Sappy Hunter trap in town. Yep. Uh, I think we gotta say no blocks there. to out muscle here to here. Uh, 
Um, and I think we just need to hold up Garen Brig Carver as a pump spell for Smitten Swordmaster. Yeah, we got to chump with the edge wall innkeeper now. I mean, I guess we could take the damage. Uh, we can block there. They're just going to activate it. We're going to take seven. Oof. Too close for comfort right now. Okay. Still can't play two blockers. Man. Definitely want the spider. And play the innkeeper. Oof. Play an innkeeper. Play a swamp. Play an order of midnight. Um. Play another sport cap. Let's end it there. Keep up the carver.
Okay, let's forever young. Yeah, we want it all. Let's put Curious Pair on top and Smitten Swordmaster second. Let's play. Create a food token. Play the bear. Yeah! Gosh! Ugh. Man. Feels good. Sweet. Alright. A full seven wins, everybody. Not too bad. Let's claim that prize, buddy. Alright. What do we got? Blessed epic downfall. Alright, it's Javier. Rip open another boosty D. Alright, another standard playable. Sweet. Alright, well that was a fun one, guys. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you very much for sticking around. Um, again, uh, I am John with People's Republic MTG. Uh, People's Republic is the best playgroup in Atlanta. We are just a community of diverse planeswalkers uh, here down in the south um, in the metro area. We play together in paper once a week, and we have a great online community on our Facebook page as well as our website, which is www.peoplesrepublicmtg.com. I happen to be the blog editor there, so go check out the articles there um, written by me and some of our other excellent members. Um, if you happen to be local, feel free to tweet at me at dirtycurdy27, D-I-R-T-Y-C-U-R-D-Y-27. Um, and I can help uh, get you invited to the group, and you can draft with us on Sundays. Um, anyway, thanks again for watching. Feel free, also, uh, my Twitter handle I just gave, dirtycurdy27. Feel free to tweet at me with comments, criticism, feedback, whatever you got. Um, otherwise, just thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.